What's going on guys? It's your boy Tor Crunch and today we're back for another tier ranking video. As you all know, we already did the power and the speed attribute ranking. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll have a link in the description and I also have them in a playlist so you can go ahead and watch them that way. But yeah, today we're going to go ahead and do the technique one. Um, yesterday we were on stream, we discussed it and I felt like I learned a lot and I feel like this might be my best list yet. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see you guys will have to tell me at the end of it before we move on I want to again emphasize that, that this is my opinion a lot of it You might not agree with if you could at least listen to my reasonings as to why I put characters where I put them uh, And then obviously after you've heard my reasonings go into the comments and just let me know why uh, You don't agree on certain parts, but anyways, yeah uh, Let's do this man. I just want to get right into it. So uh, we're gonna begin with the C rank um, this is a f just a character. I mean, Senkaizen, we all know Senkaizen's just a, a, a link. But uh, Shuren, he's a character that just got destroyed. Horrible gameplay. Doesn't have Frenzy or Flurry. Only good or decent thing about him is that he has a Soul Reaper killer. Uh, yeah, Soul Reaper killer. And he burns through everything. But overall, horrible. Oh, and then he's a 16 DR link. But just a bad unit overall. B, we've got two characters that uh, I think... Uh, they're they're just not good anymore, but at the very least they do have frenzy um, You know both Hiyori and uh, Koga have frenzy. She's got 25% strong attack damage, which is nice He has 20% uh, DR which are two great links and that's why they're slightly above let's say shooting uh, But even still they're not that great the range on attacks are horrible and yeah, not good units B, uh, we've got ourselves a couple of characters that actually um, are way older than a lot of these, but I figured, you know, I might as well put them in here because, uh, well, you know, they're decent and I feel like they're deserving of it. And the first one is Kendo. After he got his resurrection, he actually became a pretty decent character. He ended up going from like six something attack to 740 or something like that. Um, and of course, that's actually pretty decent, man. That's he's like a, a bootleg version of a character we're gonna talk about in just a bit. So uh, B plus, he's pretty decent. I had to put him in there. Can say he's the best uh, DR link for the technique attribute and gameplay and stats and whatnot and skills kind of are all right. So I think putting him here isn't too bad. Yachiru, a character that I feel like is um, just not that great. I mean, she's got the worst status ailment in the game with what is it, confusion, which really doesn't do much and you know gameplay wise and whatnot it's kind of meh it's not all that impressive it's all right though but not that impressive uh rangiku other than just being a guild quest combo character she's only one of four uh 50 hit vortex combo characters out there uh she's just not that great i mean her strong attacks and whatnot they just are underwhelming and they don't do what you would like to see in, in them right so i just feel like she's not that good she also only has a 25 stamina recovery so yeah she's just not that good anymore Ururu uh, is a unique character with, uh, she's kind of like a hybrid because she has high attack, but she also has recharge time and she has a healing second strong attack. She's a great uh, support unit, but she is a little older now and, uh, you know, damage output isn't the greatest. Tenta is a character that I feel like is really, really good still. He isn't the best, but he's still decent. Uh, he has a great kit. That's mainly the reason why he's uh, still decent and relevant. Um, he doesn't have status ailments and whatnot, but, but he does have frenzy. And uh, overall, he's decent, at least even still. Rukia is kind of the opposite of him. Uh, she's got better stats and skills, and she's way newer. But her gameplay and her kit is just so garbage, and they really, really screwed her up. Kind of like they did with Shuden. Not as much, because at least they did give her Frenzy. But, yeah, she's just not that great. Uh, I, one thing I do want to point out, though, um, the fact that Shuden and Rukia are decent in Senkaimon, um, they're they're good, right? But they're at this point in the game, there's a lot more options that you could use for their specific rooms. Uh, for example, floor 50. And so I, because of that, I just feel like, um, yeah, they're not that great as they used to be or as desirable as they used to be. A rank, we've got a few characters in here um, that you guys might be surprised to see. First one, obviously, is the second character that I said I added in here that is a little older, which is Yoruichi. After she got her resurrection, she actually became, again, viable as a character because she's really really fast man she's she's i think the fastest up there with soifon the tla soifon and this i mean i'm telling you yoruichi is just this character is really really fast and gameplay wise not the greatest but at the same time um it's it's all it's not all that bad she actually had a guild quest i believe where she was like 
able to hit like 182k because of the fact that she was a bonus character so great unit and uh definitely uh recommend you resurrecting her shinji is the most recent character to come out and honestly just the fact that he doesn't inflict status ailments and that he has a bad uh soul trait just kind of holds him back um it's just you know if you have to die to inflict uh your soul trait that's just gonna be a super like just a dumb uh soul trait to have and because of that it holds him back i think to an a rank same thing with yumi chica great character i think his kit is really really underrated and i feel like he's a good unit overall but the fact that he has last ditch survival 100 as a soul trait it just it sucks man and it shouldn't have been given to him but i guess whatever tesla a character that's all right he has a barrier second strong attack that's my biggest like gripe with him he it takes forever to recharge of as a strong attack and because of that you know he's not that great same with his status he doesn't have status ailments so i think a rank is pretty decent grim Jiao, this one's disappointing man this one i wish you know because it could have been completely different um he's at a right here but he could have very well been like an s rank tier character because he has weakening he has frenzy uh he has great strong attacks i feel like his strong attacks are freaking awesome but the thing that sucks and just holds him back so much is that the fact that he has a status is the fact that he has no affiliation killer and it's just like why dude why would they give him that if he would have had that he would have been an s tier character and uh, whatever i'm not gonna sit here and complain about him because i could go for hours biakuya a uh, unit that's all right i mean he's not the best he's not the worst he can nuke absolutely everything he has a nice like normal attack string and overall you know a is where i think he's deserving of holly bell a character that's all right as a unit to use but mainly uh nowadays if you have her at level one you know her combo build up for guild quest is actually pretty good so there's that and then my yuri kind of like grim job but not as much he does have a decent kit uh, and he paralyzes and whatnot and he's pretty good uh, but the thing is he does have no affiliation killer because of that he's not gonna be going up any higher and a plus here we go so these are characters that i think are pretty good but not at the very top and we'll start off with sun sun she has a good kit she doesn't have status ailments but i mean she's got a good kit and a nice normal attack string she's super cute man i feel like she's adorable and overall she's all right as a character but she's not the best uh shunsui a uh, good kit as well he has lacerate he's a good combo build up in guild quest and so yeah overall he's really really good uh again a character that i think a lot of people overwrite and just don't like him because of uh you know his second strong attack and whatnot but i think he's actually pretty good he poisons uh through everything and um yeah he's just a good unit uh, i actually personally like him kisuke he's just another one that i feel like was kind of done wrong as well not as much as grim Jao, for example but he's still like his first and second strong attacks are a little underwhelming they they're not like completely useless but at the same time they're slower and they they, they kind of suck at times so um anyways a plus because of his special where he's able to revive and he's one of the better support units out there and it's manga kisuke right so he's amazing and he has a great third strong attack Christmas Retsu, uh, kind of like Shunsui, a pretty de decent kit, but the main thing about her is that she's a great guild quest character. Combo buildup uh, is what she's used for, and uh, yeah, if you have her, that's basically what you want to use her for. Also, in Sin Kaimon, she's actually good as well, getting those three bosses, uh, three boss stages, because she's, uh, you know, she burns through everything, so that's going to help a lot. Uh, Neliel, Parasol Neliel, a character that I feel like was uh, just kind of overlooked because nobody really has her. She's a character that came out a year ago in the parasol summons and overall man she's good she's got a 25 nad uh link she paralyzes uh she has a nice set of strong attacks for for um uh, crowd control and good stats and skills the only reason she isn't higher is because she is older and uh yeah stats are a little outdated and now for the s rank tier characters we've only got three characters in here but i feel like these characters are deserving to be in here genjo a unit that i think is actually really really good probably one one of the better charged up attack characters out there as well uh he has a wrong card killer so a great killer and frenzy with nice stats and skills um yes he doesn't have status ailments but i think for damage output he's gonna be the best range a wrong card killer again my opinion uh second we've got ourselves manga part three ichigo one of the more unique characters out there as well because he has flurry as a as a skill and he is ranged he's the only ranged flurry character out there so overall just a great unit 
the only things that kind of hold him back a bit is the fact that he has a three hit nad string and uh no status ailments but overall just a great uh, character oh also he has a spotter killer which kind of sucks uh but great character overall for bring ichigo this one is kind of like it, surprising to maybe some of you guys but the thing about this this ichigo is that he was made right right like this character came out so long ago, man. He's, he's one of those characters that has been around for a very long time, but I think he is one of the better ones out there. And he's just, the biggest thing about him is that he has an amazing set of strong attacks and his gameplay uh, just feels so, so smooth, right? He has a first of a lunge attack, second that hits everything in front of him, like it just destroys, right? And then his third is a multiple hitting full screen, which is just awesome, right? Um, nothing super crazy. Uh, it's just good damage output on a on a character and especially a character that's older um, He nukes he can hit really hard especially nowadays because a lot of people will have multiples of him and you can level up his special But yeah full bring Ichigo great unit still and I I really really like him still So now we're at the s plus characters These are the best of the best for the technique attribute and so let's get right into it We're gonna go one by one tag team Toshiro great great character just he has that double killer that's amazing right he freezes through everything he has frenzy he has a 20 percent strong attack damage link and uh yeah gameplay wise is great uh, the only like thing about his gameplay that could be different that could even be better is that his third isn't the greatest it's not necessarily like a full screen but at the same time it's really really good second uh character we have in the s plus tier We've got ourselves Yamamoto, one arm Yamamoto. I mean, not much to say about him. He's just a freaking boss. He burns through everything. He has an amazing nad string with, in terms of range and in terms of damage and speed. He also, of course, has flurry, poise, and just a freaking amazing character. He was he was made correct, right? Like they did him right and they did him justice. Next up, we've got ourselves a butterfly eyes in this freaking unit i was actually shocked yesterday when talking to to you guys on stream i did not know that this unit was still viable in pvp even in like the head captain range right so um this this character is freaking awesome right he's He's probably, I'll say it now, he's probably the character that has that has outlived almost any unit out there. But I think it's actually exactly a year and a half now. He's been out for that long and he still manages to beat out most of the units that come out nowadays. Reason he's so good, man, is that he has an infinite boost. He has frenzy. He has the best first strong attack, man. I was using him last night just to test him out again, right? And this man, I, he nearly has a, a, a full screen first strong attack. Um, of course, second, again, like I said, he has a boost, so it's gonna, it's gonna not have as much range, but it does, uh, make it so he can inflict more damage. Third is great. It's a full screen. Um, he has the chance of insta-killing through his special, and he has a nice 40% bruiser, so that makes him a decent normal attack damage unit. So, uh, overall, man, this Aizen was done correctly, and I think, yeah, he's deserving of S+. Uh, last but not least, as you all kind of expected, uh, we've got ourselves TLA Soifon. What can I say? I mean, she's a freaking goddess, dude. She's the best guild quest character uh, in the whole game. And it's not even close, right? She's the best of the best. And, uh, you know, she's a, she's got a great kit. She's the fastest character in the game. Uh, she burns. She, she, does she poison? Yeah, she poisons. She's just, she's just an amazing unit, right? Um, frenzy and 14 research time as a link. So she's also a decent link. So overall, man, just the best guild quest character out there. Maybe not as good in PVP or whatnot, but obviously that doesn't matter. She excels in everything else. Um, anyways, yeah, that is my list. Uh, I don't know what you guys might think about it. I think I did pretty good on this one. Um, yes, you might not agree with everything, but again, now that you've heard my reasons, go ahead and just go into the comments and give me a reason why you think I should have put a character in a different spot. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you haven't seen the power or the speed attribute ranking, uh, go ahead and go into the description and check them out. I'll have a link in there. And yeah, I guess anyways, other than that, if you guys can hit the like button on this, uh, I guess we'll have a, um, uh, like a 400 goal, 400 like goal. And, uh... Yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.